It's my feel-good breakfast show. There are stories of strivers, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. APSA. Yeah, it's time to make your money count and it's already mid-month and I think we need to face it. The most of us, I think a budget is something we kind of struggle to keep tabs on. Yeah. I don't know about you, Zanelli, you are in Jersey right now. I know you guys spend a lot of money doing uh, fancy things. Are you struggling or finding yourself uh, struggling at the end of the month too? Listen, Ral, I don't know how you can ask, are you struggling? Do you see the economy all around the world? Not just in South Africa. It's hard, okay? But I'm getting through, friends. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to be self-disciplined. How about you guys? Yeah. Sure. Krista, how about it's you? It's tough out here. And mm -hmm. I get it. That mid-month pinch is definitely a reality that all of us face. Because if you look at the cost of petrol and potatoes, Yo. please, in this economy, it is really tough. But listen, I think we've got you covered when yeah. it comes to that. And electricity going up 40% <laughs> in some areas. How do we Stop. deal? Stop. Now listen, especially towards, obviously, the month end. Now, if you tend to lose track of your spending, you mm. may find yourself counting your pennies, right? And wondering, where did mm. all my money go? Where did my well, mula go? <laughs> yeah, where is it? Now, Tumi Monake is back with another lesson in budget and this is in the I Grew It campaign. I think this is an important conversation. We need to pay attention to this and hopefully fill up our money. Let's go. Ah, is this you? Month end. Math is not mathing. Because you're trying to figure out what happened to your salary. Meanwhile, you know the answer is staring right back at you. Mm? Playing any mini mini more with your monthly bills. Grocery, cell phone bill, rent. Hmm? Adulting and budgeting. Same WhatsApp group. Welcome, Kaweli Share. At Where Did My Money Go is struggling with adulting, right? Because now here we are, you have to deal with Grosa, your cell phone bills. At the same time, you're trying to live a nice life because, you know, the streets are always calling. <laughs> and I read somewhere, okay, to be honest, I didn't read it. I saw it on TikTok. They say that a budget is like the master plan for your income and expenses. Is this true? That's true. So a budget is actually a master plan. I like to think of it as your personal kind of superhero cape. So it keeps you, you know, from those financial villains that are around. When you think about it, it's about income and expenses, right? So your income can be things that are providing money into your account. So that could be either your salary, your side hustle or a very generous family member that has given you some money. And then your expenses are those things that kind of take away from your money. So things like you mentioned, your rent, your groceries, transport to get to work. So those things you actually need to manage quite well to ensure that your money goes a long way. So when you think about budgets, you want to make sure that you are categorizing all of these things in the right way so that at the end of the month, you know that you haven't spent more than you've earned, which then avoids you from getting into a death trap. So when you are in debt, it creates a financial stress for you that you want to then avoid. So having a budget then allows you to have more control over your money versus your money actually just sort of being wild and going all over the place. Find out how to budget for your goals and rewrite the story of your finances with I Grew It. Absa, your story matters. All right, well, this is bringing some uh, worthy conversation into my head, so maybe I can share with all of you, Mzanzi, and maybe we can play a game with this, because okay. with that being said, maybe we can look yes. at the scenario. Pretend that it is the end of the month. We've paid our bills, and uh, we're now down to the last 1,000 rand. Ooh. The question is, how will we be spending it? Now, we've got a couple options. Option okay. number one would be buy that one thing you've been eyeing all month. We've got option number two, mm -hmm. pay off your credit card. Mm. Or number three, save it. Sure. So mm. I know there's a TV answer and then there's a reality yeah. answer because <laughs> number Zanelli, one is looking. Zanelli, I hope you're thinking about your answer too, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, I, I, I am agreeing with my beautiful Carissa. Number one is looking mighty fine, honey. I think I, I, I live at number one. That is where I reside. But just like Carissa said, maybe that's not the right answer. So, so Carissa, where are you standing exactly? Oh, hmm? my gosh. I, so as an adult now, I'm a little bit experienced in the years. I know that number one can take a pause because there will always be nice things and yeah. there will always be ones that I would want to grab onto. So I think I'm going to go with um, paying off my credit card. Mm. Let me 
play devil's advocate because yeah. maybe option one could be the thing that puts you in the mood to allow you to make more money at the end of the month to then pay off your debt. Mm. You know what I mean? You want to look good in that dress so you can do the MC gig and get the bag and thank make you. the money. Thank you. You, you never hey. know. But <laughs> you see. Rally, ra. <laughs> Raul, do you want to, you know, maybe run for Minister of Finance? I'll vote uh, for you. I, I think you, I can I think you have the vision. I'm for it. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. The people. Thank you very much. <laughs> he makes sense. But, but he I will also sense. say that definitely for me, I think it is also paying off the credit card. Mm. I know what it means sometimes to have like a lot of debt mm. and just being able to just like pay off even just a little bit. It provides a lot of relief. And I was listening to Dumi Morake and the lovely lady who was speaking to us about the debt, mm. how it can cause, you know, a little bit of stress. Mm. So rather option two. Rather. Mm. Well played. Rather. Definitely. It's yeah. a question of also working your interest rates, I think. And depending mm. on whether uh, saving yeah. money is going to actually build up enough interest or maybe right. paying off your credit card is going to limit you from losing Using more money that you have to pay back mm -hmm. on that interest. So these are good questions that we must be having. And I hope you've got your answers, but definitely stay away from one, I think. Yeah, I, I, I think, think so. <laughs> I think it's fair. It's unanimous. Number one, maybe is not the answer. But listen, head to our socials and let us know what you would do right now in the comments. And I can't wait to hear. Maybe you'll be a little bit more of an adult than I am and maybe Zanella too. And of course, if you want to catch the full episode, and I suggest you do, to me, Murak is absolutely fabulous. Check out Absa's YouTube page and the laughs and also knowledge await you. <laughs> there are stories of creators and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. Absa.